Can Orochiki solo the One Piece verse? To answer this question, let's first figure out how powerful Orochiki really is. Orochiki around when he first appeared was actually keeping up with the base low power Sasuke. And Sasuke was keeping up with the base Momoshiki while only having 50% of his actual power. And Momoshiki in the light novel was stated that he was going to destroy a solar system with a star's level of chakra which means he could destroy it. So Momoshiki on a low ball should be at least large star level. For his speed, he should be at least FTL plus because Naruto characters were performing FTL level feeds back in Shippuden and got stronger ever since. So back to the main question now that the scaling is done, can Orishiki solo the One Piece verse? Well, it depends. If Orishiki is on the ground and the whole verse attacks him at the same time, then he's cooked. And the reason that him being on the ground would be such a bad move even though he's much faster than them is because certain One Piece characters have durability negation. But if he's flying, then 95% of the verse can't even attack him. And from there, I think Orochiki can just like long distance kill most of the verse just by using his fishing rod and teleporting behind them. And on the off chance that they do land many hits on Orochiki that are like deadly to him, then he can deadly use his blue rain gun which allows him to go a few seconds back in time. And the most broken part is that this ability hasn't shown any form of cooldown so he can just spam it. And if his fishing rod pierces you, it can basically just steal your power. And I know what some of you may be thinking that Urshiki lost to a kid Naruto and Boruto in his evolved form, but we're only going to include his best feats which is him against Sasuke. And he's not even actually that weak, that was just plot, I don't know the anime just did him dirty, but he is very strong. Urshiki indeed does solo the verse, but is there a way for the One Piece verse to actually beat Urshiki? And surprisingly, there are actually quite a few ways for them to be Urshiki. There's hundreds of One Piece characters and at least a dozen are FTL, maybe a little bit higher, so Urshiki would definitely have trouble dealing with all of them. But you could argue that he could just teleport around, go into his dimension and come out, but when he does pop out, half the verse is charging on him. And they each have their own powers and abilities that Urshiki has no idea of. So that would be the best case scenario for the One Piece verse is if he's on the ground and they just instantly all charge him at the same time. But realistically I think Urshiki is smart enough to keep teleporting and moving around and not just like staying in one spot and like fighting the whole verse. So in conclusion I think Urshiki defeats the One Piece verse 9 times out of 10. I just think that he's too much for the One Piece verse to handle. He's just like a completely different character with broken hacks. But yeah, Orishiki is just a really underrated and mysterious character, no one really talks to him so I decided to make this comparison. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed, let's try and get 6k before the end of the next month and until next time, peace.